uh, today I just wanted to show you guys a bit of my creative process and how I go about creating synth um, underlying synth pads and stuff to create tension. I don't like to use preset patches ever in any of the games I scored uh, just because it, it sucks the life out of things because they've been overused or they just don't quite fit the vibe that, um, that I'm after. So today I'm going to kind of show you guys how I, um, how I go about doing that. And um, so let's just uh, dive right in. So I'm using Dune 2, as you can see here. Um, it's kind of my go-to synth for programming and stuff. I do have a barrage of um, analog gear, which um, will be used throughout the game, but this is just easier to show you guys kind of my process. Um, so today we're just gonna create something that's going to create tension. So a basic pad that I can put underneath my orchestra and so forth. So without further ado, here we go. So we got at, um, our Kickstarter patch here that I've named. Um, got a basic uh, oscillator going on here. Pretty pretty boring, actually. So let's uh, make him a little more interesting. Um, that's still a little bit too gritty for me. Um, there we go. All right, I like that. That's um, that's cool. Let's adjust the cutoff so it takes the bite out of him a little bit. All right. And next, I'm going to take the attack and release up. So it plays more like a pad. There you go. All right, it's starting to sound a little more interesting. Let's go to oscillator two. Add in one layer of density. Let's uh, go back to wavetable. Let's just pick something random, TX8. That sounds cool. Uh, that guy looks interesting. And then let me mute oscillator one, bring up oscillator two. Let's bring back oscillator one. Let's pan it a little bit to the left. Okay, that's sounding interesting. Oscillator three is gonna basically be a bass layer, so let's take it down in pitch by 12, um, and on its own. So it's totally kinda doing its thing down there in the bass range. Let's bring in everything slowly. All right, now ring modulate it just a little. Okay, that's sounding pretty cool, but it needs to sound cooler. So let's add in a little delay. I like a ping pong delay, just it a bounce back and forth in the um, stereo field a little bit. This is synced to my BPM, which is um, 120, 120 beats per minute. All right, let's add a little delay to this sucker here. All right, so I'm gonna take the attack out so this plays like a piano, just so you can really hear how apparent the delay is. Here we go. Um, and now we're going to add a reverb. I always like uh, massive, huge reverbs here. So um, let's sync it actually into a pre delay. Pre delay. All right. Cut the lows and the highs a bit, a little color. And here we go. Oh, maybe a little too wet on the ambience there. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Let's go back to the keyboard so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here when I play. All right, I'm taking all this kind of back to where it was so it plays more like a pad. Here we go. And then I can tweak stuff like the cutoff up there. I'm using a knob on my keyboard. You can kind of see that. So, yeah, that's... Uh, Tense. And also, um, I know Dave likes his distortion. Let's add a little distortion into that. And drive it a little bit more. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Just a little bit of grit in there. That's nice. So that's basically it. Um, so now we have uh, a patch that will probably get used somewhere in the, uh, in the score for Lifeless Moon. So keep your ears open for the official Lifeless Moon Kickstarter patch.